Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I have got seven really cool tongue blocking blues harp licks for you. If you're interested in learning more about tongue blocking, then check out the premium tongue blocking course in the description beneath this video. So these seven licks are going to use a variety of different techniques, including octaves, slaps and flutters. And make sure you stick around right to the end of the video when I'll give you a really cool song ending using octaves, slaps and bends as well. You can follow the tab on the screen, we'll be using a C diatonic harmonica and if you want to download the tabs then you can get them via a link in the description as well. So let's crack on with lick number one, and this is very much a rip-off of Little Walter's Duke. Okay, so we've got two draw, three draw with a little bit of a scoop, four draw, five blow, and then three and six blow octave. Now don't worry, there's loads going on, I'm going to slow it down, so... So our timing is one, two, three. Da 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 um, ba ba. Okay. And four and a one and. And four and a one and. It's a really cool lively thing because it's got some notes on the, the upbeat, the halfway point between the beats. Then it kind of lifts it and really gives it some life. So, let's think about those octaves first. What's an octave? Well, an octave split is where we're playing two notes that are an octave apart. So the three blow and the six blow are both on our C harmonica, they're both a G note. By playing them together, you get a bigger sound. So it's a nice big sound and that's what makes that lick not sound just like single notes, but kind of like there's something more going on. If I just played the six blow, then you'd, you know, get the general gist of the lick, but it wouldn't have the same life to it. Now let's think about what's happening here specifically with our tongue block. So you could play this lick lip pursed and then switch for the octaves right at the end of the line. But I'm assuming you're going to try and tongue block it all, and that's the whole point of the uh, exercise. So, When you play a normal tongue block shape, you have to go with a four hole width, or the normal way of doing it is with a four hole width. So, four blow. My mouth is over holes one to four, and I'm playing hole four, blocking one to three. So what are we going to do on the lower notes in this lick? I'm going to give you various options and you can choose for yourself. You might narrow that down so that the two draw, for example, is kind of a two hole uh, block. So I'm blocking hole one, playing hole two. That's one way. You might actually do a tongue switch which probably for this line wouldn't work because it's so fast it would, would, would be impractical. But you could, in theory, play hole two out of the other side of your mouth. So holes two to five would be covered with your mouth, but three, four, and five are blocked. So you're playing the note out of the left-hand side of your mouth, assuming you're playing the right way up, so you can play the other way. Probably wouldn't do that for this. And then a third option would be to just actually lip purse the lower notes and switch to a tongue block further up, around three, four, or even just do the octaves um, and play the rest lip pursed. Either way, whichever way, that's our lick. And just a final word on the three draw. So if you're able, and especially if you're able to tongue block it, we're trying to get a bit of a scoop on the three. So it's like a dwa dwa, starting with a little bit of a bend and releasing it. Okay. And it just gives it a bit of life. If you don't have that, it doesn't sound quite as cool as... 
just hear it, even even if it's fast, you can hear dwee, dwee, da, dwee, da, da. and it really, really makes that lick. So that is lick number one. Okay, lick number two sounds like this. One, two, three. Okay, so what's happening there? Well, let's look at the notes first. So we've got five draw, four draw, five blow, four draw, and then three draw. We're starting around the second bend and releasing, but it's, it's not an exact science necessarily for where you hit in terms of the bend. It's more about creating a texture. So I haven't added uh, anything else at this point, but just the basic notes. Okay, and our timing is we're actually starting on the fourth beat of the bar. So one, two, three, four and one and two and so they are eighth notes. So that's you know half a beat each. But because we're assuming a kind of a blues shuffle, they're swung. So it's not da 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 da. It's da 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 da. Not da 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 da, which is too straight. So one, two, three, which is you know fine as it is, but our tongue texture for this lick is a slap, and I'm going to slap each of those. All of those notes. We'll talk about the last one in a minute, but... So those four notes, I'm starting with my tongue off and then I'm applying it so that for each of them you'll hear a kind of a chord and then a, a sort of rhythmic sound and then the single note. Okay, that was the five draw. The four draw. And then the five blow. So they're the three different notes. We then go to the four draw again. So. And then our final one. I haven't put a slap on the tab. I might have played a slap when I um, played it earlier in the video, just out of habit. I have a habit of slapping too much. Don't overdo your slaps. Um, but if you're able to, you could slap that. The extra difficulty is that you're starting with a bend. So in terms of your timing, you have to be going into that bend, but not whilst your uh, tongue is off. So you only apply the bending shape and, and pressure the, the millisecond that your tongue hits the instrument. If you do it too soon, uh, so then the to the uh, chord won't sound right. <laughs> I'm struggling to force myself to do it because I've done so much practice stopping myself do it, but it's all in that timing. So then if you were to do that with that three draw bend, um, and I didn't slap again on the natural three draw in, in that example just then, I just slapped on the bend. Uh, so that is lick number two. So lick number three sounds like this. Okay, so this is kind of a classic walking bass line style thing. So let's just look at the basic notes before I talk about all the weird stuff that's all around them in the tab and you're thinking, what's going on there? So the basic notes we've got So we've got the two draw, three draw, four draw, and then we go five blow, five draw, and then we go back down. So five blow, four draw, three draw. But what we're adding to those notes is a slap and a pull. So the slap we did in the last lick, the pull is kind of the mirror image of a slap. So you'll be taking your tongue off, 
after slapping it on, you're taking it off again. So what you're going to hear is kind of chord, single note, chord, or not strictly a chord, but combination of notes. So for example, on if I just do the uh, four draw to begin with, okay. If I speed it up, you've got a nice sound there. So you've got the slapping kind of percussive sound, and then you've got a, another kind of percussive little subtlety as you take the tongue off. Now the difficulty with coming on and off is the airflow direction. It can be tempting if you're on the draw to then switch to a blow or if you're on the blow to switch to a draw. So you're trying to come on and off but keep the airflow the same for the whole time. If I do a five blow and then five draw. So every note in the lick we're trying to do that. So it's slap on, pull off, and then the next note, slap on, pull off. Now those lower notes, specifically holes two and three, you're going to have to think, how am I going to do this? So on hole one, if you're just uh, tongue locking one and two, you'll get a smaller kind of sound. You could choose to play a three blow instead, same note, but then you get a blow chord sounding thing which I'm not sure works very well. I mean we do it quickly, it's not the end of the world. If you choose to lip purse those notes, that's okay as well because you can just do a start with a chord, narrow it and then broaden it again. And that sounds really good for the two, that sounds okay for the three. But that won't work on the higher notes. If you try the five draw with a lip purse kind of narrowing and broadening, really doesn't work. If you compare that with, that's so much bigger. So you do need the uh, tongue lock for those higher notes. This whole uh, lick starts on the first beat of the bar. So it would be one, two, three, four. Dunga, 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 one, two, three, four. And it's those swung eighth notes again, classic kind of sound. If I slow it down, one, two, three, four. It's a lovely sounding thing, especially when you move it up to speed. So that's lick number three. Lick number four goes like this. One, two, three. And this is kind of a Kim Wilson style lick. It's a bit like the opening to Oh Baby, which he plays. Um, I'm not saying I can play like Kim Wilson, but it's in that style. So our notes are the three draw with a little bit of a scoop, the four draw, I'll talk about that in a minute, five blow, three draw, three, uh, sorry, three blow, three draw with a half step bend, and then two draw that will bend down a little bit. So that would be without the four draw, that kind of extra texture I'm going to talk about in a minute, you'd have And it's one, two, three. Do da 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 da. Starts on the fourth beat. One, two, three. Four and one, two, three. Four and one and. And the texture we're using in this lick is a flutter. So on that four draw, I'm going to take my tongue on and off quickly. And that's what gave it the. You could either do it to the side, that was more of a side one, so... Which is like a repeated slap. 
Or you could do a kind of straight on one, which is really cool, where you're almost like applying repeated octaves. So it gets a different sound. Both kind of, I would call both of those flutters. I don't know if there's different names for them. Let me know in the comments if you know a name for them. But that's what's giving it the texture. So one, two, three. And notice that last note, we've got a little bit of a bend off the two. So you don't want it finishing it's a bit straight. Du, 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 du. You want dip and dip boom. Okay, so that's a that's not a tongue blocking specific thing, but it's something that is really important to make that lick sound really cool and really bluesy. So uh, do try and put that in if you can. So lick number five sounds like this. One, two, three. Okay, so I love this one and our notes just to begin with are six draw, uh, sorry, six blow, five draw, four draw, five draw, four draw that bends down and then slides to a three and then slides to a two and then we bend it slightly. Okay, so and it starts on the fourth beat. One, two, three. Four and a one, two, three. Four and a one. Okay, but our texture in there is a sweep. So it sounds a bit like our flutter last time where it gives a percussive rhythmic backing to your playing. The difference here is we're not going on and off the harp, we're going side to side. So what that gives us is a kind of intermittent two draw and five draw. If I slowed it way, 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 way down. So, two draw, uh, sorry, Five draw, two draw. You'll probably find one of the two techniques, flutter or sweep, easier than the other. The on and then off, off you might find easier, side to side you might find easier. I find the side to side a bit easier, the on and off. Still working on it, I'll probably be working on it forever. Um, I think these techniques, you can never work on them enough. Uh, but if you add that in, one, two, three. Then it really kind of becomes the focal point of that lick. It's really cool. Wherever you're using a flutter, you could use a sweep and vice versa. So lick number four, you could choose to sweep that rather than flutter it. And that would work really nicely as well. So it's uh, they're kind of interchangeable and have similar sounds um, and achieve certain things. They are they do have their own uh, taste and their own flavour to them uh, and I think they're both well worth trying. Lick number six sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So loads of stuff going on there. Uh, we've got octaves and we've got slaps as well, um, lots of bending in there as well. So our basic notes, if I don't talk about the uh, extra textures to begin with, we've got... Okay, so we're starting with a little bit of a bend on the three that we release and go up to the four draw, so. And then we have a one draw, two blow, and then a draw chord, and then three draw half step, and then full step. 
and then two draw, a little chord again, and then a slap on a three draw full step bend, or I shouldn't be telling you about the slap yet, and then a little chord again, and then two blow, and then th uh, six blow. So. That last note. It's just a lovely combination of notes. Two, three, four. Okay, but what about the textures? So we're starting by on that three, then slapping onto the four. And that immediately adds something. And then the next note we're going to slap is the two below. So. So I'm just using a two hole slap on hole two. So I'm really just slapping hole one gets uh, played and then released or covered, sorry. So. And I'm doing a tongue switch to get the one draw. I find that helps me. So you can see kind of quite a movement. It's kind of a, I'm jumping around, moving that around. So after the slapped two blow, we're going to a little draw chord and then we're going to slap our three draw semitone bend. And then we're going to play the three draw full step bend. And then the draw chord, so. And then we're going to slap the three draw full step bend after that chord. Okay, so from the uh, three draw Oh, sorry, the, the kind of draw chord after the two blow slap. And then just to finish, we've got one more little draw chord, two blow slapped, and then three and six blow octave. So not just the six blow, but the three and six. So the full line. loads going on there so do take your time with this one but once you get it fast and really kind of swing it it's really really cool I love this one just before we look at our final lick today I'd love it if you could click like on this video that lets YouTube know that it should share it with more people and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you'll get free harmonica lessons every single week. Also remember to check out the tongue blocking course in the description if you'd like to know more. So our final tongue blocking blues harp lick sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So it's kind of a song ending lick and we're going to use octaves and slaps as well as some bends in there. So it's a really cool one for practicing your tongue blocking techniques. So let's have a look at the bare bones tab without the extra textures. So we'll be going six blow, five draw, four draw, five draw, four draw, four blow, three blow, three draw half step bend, two draw, and then a half step bend on two and full step bend. So. I'm 
we're starting the first note on the first beat of the bar. So one, two, three, four. Da da ba di ba da m bi ba da bum. A one, two, three, four. And those last three notes, you could slow them. <coughs> excuse me, you could slow those down because it's a song ending. They don't need to be at tempo, so it could be. I'm putting some kind of vibrato, jaw vibrato on that two jaw bend. Just for effect. But what we all came here for is the textures, I think. So we're going to start with an octave split on the three six blow instead of just the six blow. We're then going to play the two five split, technically not an octave, it's a dirty flat and seventh interval. So. And then we're going to slap the 4-5-4. Four, four. Okay, so... And then on the 4 blow, we're going to play a 1-4 blow octave, so... And then the rest of it, we've got no added textures. So... I think that's a really well-rounded, nice kind of uh, lick. Obviously, loads going on, so you'd want to take your time with this one as well. So, that's our seven tongue-locking blues licks. I hope you've enjoyed looking at them. Do let me know in the comments, ask me your questions as well. If you have enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell, then you'll always be told when I upload a lesson. If you want to know more about tongue blocking, working through step-by-step -step lessons on all of these techniques that we've used in the licks today, then check out my tongue blocking course. There's a link in the description. Until I see you again, good luck with your practice. I'll see you soon. Cheers.